What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space and we're back in Space Engineers and back with the modular extrusion platform. I've kind of been working on it a little bit this week to, well, first of all, expand the thing. So if I look up there, you can probably see, especially if I turn around as well, it is now a nine stage design. So uh, we've got nine different sort of separate stages for modules to be built into this. But I've also kind of increase the size of the uh, welder array itself so that we can build slightly larger modules and introduce some of the modules that people were suggesting to me in the comments, which is great. I've done, not been able to do all of them, unfortunately, but I've done a good selection of them. And what I wanted to do with this video is both obviously demonstrate that as it was before, we are still fully functional and still works like it did, even at this very long variant, although I'll admit it's a little bit more bouncy. Uh, this time round, obviously, with that many pistons involved. Uh, I am working on a updated version that's using something other than pistons for this movement part. Uh, and so hopefully that will be essentially infinitely expandable, because this is always going to have a limit based upon uh, based upon the strength of those pistons, because you can start to see here it's bouncing around a fair bit. Uh, and the easiest solution to fixing the bouncing about completely is to make sure that quite early on you build the turbo pack I have there as number four. This is one of the new modules. Uh, I mean, it's called a turbo pack. Basically, it adds a load more front and back thrusters and some power to help use them. Uh, but what it also does, if we build this on there, is allow the inertial dampers to stop the piston from bouncing around. So you'll notice that these thrusters build on this time round. That's intentional. And then you'll see, as soon as this stops and stops moving, it won't bounce at all. It, 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 this will have sort of fixed that bouncing problem completely. And we can build the rest of the ship. So yeah, a tiny little bit of movement, and now it's back to being stable. And we can go through, and there's a whole bunch of uh, new modules, as I mentioned, that people have suggested. So we've got power, we've got cargo, what else have we got? Um, antennas and remote controls, we've got a grinding pod for breaking people down. We've got a gravity pod, which gives you gravity shields and uh, functionality for either gravity weapons or for uh, gravity thrust. So um, let's uh, c continue building away while I jabber. So next up, let's put one of the, another one of the new ones on. So let's stick the power module on. And of course, th this has all been expanded basically using exactly the same thing as before. I've just had to do it on a much larger scale. So while that builds, you can go around, you can see we've got mass drives, drone controls, um, connection nacelles for attaching things onto the side of the ships. Um, once we get around here, more sort of repeats, essentially. So you've got some control over because a lot of these you're going to want options to have all of them available. So yeah, we've got the remote control and the drone control again. Uh, drone control is obviously one that's got lots of cockpits in it, so you can control drones from aboard the craft. Uh, and I've also added a new one onto the front that is a sort of standard connection pod that actually means that you could, if you wanted to, connect the entire ship onto another one and keep building them until you ended up with a huge, great long thing, which could be pretty ridiculous. Um, one thing to be careful with with this new longer design is making sure that you hit the right buttons. If you accidentally go and build stage three again, it will reverse the ship into the welders, which is not good. But we are this far, so let's have um, let's have new again. So let's have a gravity pod this time. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. And one of the points behind today's episode <coughs> is so that I can show you how to go about making your own module for this uh, and then adding it into the system so it shows up. So over here, we've obviously we've got the old version down there, which is, as you can see, quite a lot shorter. And we've got all the modules that currently exist for it. And we're literally gonna, just going to go and build the one missing module that's down there, which is the cargo module. You'll notice it's been mentioned, but there isn't actually one yet. I saved it so that I could do it in this. And what I've been doing, basically, uh, is copy and pasting this, which is the back. Uh, and then we make sure we're not moving. Let's just so that when we paste it, it's still, and then we can build off of this. And the benefit of using this particular one, I know, is that this is the one that I've also set up to have mirroring on it already. So you can see, there we've got our mirroring enabled. We can choose the right colors, and we want a cargo pod. So we're gonna have to mirror this design pretty closely. So let's add uh, four there. And, and that is the, the magic number, is each module section is four blocks long, and you need to stick to that. That's the length of a piston. It can't really be changed. Uh, you could probably do multiples of four, but yeah, uh, that's about it. Next stage is we're going to need to add the cargo, so we can put a large cargo container in, and the benefit of a large cargo container is that they have a connection point in the very center. That means that it's going to hook itself up to how our cargo system works. And our cargo system is in all of the modules running down the very center. So if I add that conveyor in there, that will now be conveyed up to the system regardless of where I build it inside the craft. And so the only thing's left for us to do uh, uh, is to go and finish off the structure here. So let's add 
these on and that should have wrapped her up completely uh, and then we need to do two final things so first of all let's cut it off of the bit that we don't need anymore and you can build these without copy paste without mirroring without all of this stuff it's, it is fully survival doable as well um, it's just a lot easier for me to demonstrate like this uh, but you get the idea of the sort of the, the schematics the general size of how these things need to be laid out so in this case it's the four blocks long five blocks wide five blocks tall you can make it taller and wider than that the maximum in those directions is eight but the main craft is based on this five by five layout and so we're now pretty much done with this particular one all we need to do is go into here and transfer the ownership to ourselves um, although you probably won't need to do that in the workshop version I have to in mine because mine is obviously all built and owned by me and the workshop variant is all built and owned by nobody so you'll be leaving this on nobody as well it's important all of the ownership matches up and then we're gonna hit control B to take a blueprint and as you can see there are all my blueprints for this and I've had to start labeling things because as you can probably see there's quite a lot of blueprints in here now um, so it will be a large ship and one of these large ships there we are that's the one and so what we can now do is rename this to something helpful uh, and in this case we're going to call it with the same naming scheme MCC L for large ship uh, there is a small ship variant of this coming as well and then this is our cargo pod so there we go that's all made and complete and the only thing we need to do now is go and add it into the projector system itself so there are a couple of places in the system already set up for the cargo pod, seeing as I know I was going to sort of make one. But the, the, the same idea stands true <clears throat> regardless of how you do this. All you need to do is ensure that you update all of the text to match what you've just done so you know what's going on. You can change any of these. So we're going to go in here and we're gonna, just going to go and find stage two cargo. And it will be in here somewhere. Where are we? Uh, refinery. Is it stage two? No, it's stage three cargo. That's why I can't find it. Uh, come on, give me the little thing, and we're going to go stage 3, cargo, and here you go, we're going to need to turn it on to change the blueprint. And right now, I think it's got a blueprint of something that isn't cargo at all, I think it might be a refinery. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go and find that blueprint of ours, uh, the cargo pod, where is it, and double click, and that's now going to have been loaded at, into the correct position. So, the important part here is all of these uh, projectors have been set up specifically to line up so as long as you follow those same rules every time they'll always work you can replace anything in here so that's now there in stage 3 position and we can just turn that off and that's completely set up and ready to go it says uh, projection out of bounds that's because there's nothing for it to connect on to at the moment uh, now the only other thing you might need to do as you're changing these is go down and change the timers for them as well so if I just talk quickly about how these are set up, in this case it's, it's the stage 3 cargo timer that we've just changed. And as you can see, uh, in here we've got pause 3 start, so whichever stage it is you'll need this at the end, and that is one of our timers down here, I think they're in this row, so there you go, and you just drag it down and select start for that. And then the other thing you need in here is the projector that you've just chosen. So we just did stage 3 cargo, didn't we? And that, this is why it's good to make sure you name everything so you can always find it. And we're just going to drag that down there and toggle block on with the projector. And now, whenever we hit that button for uh, the cargo pod, which is the button number two here, as you can see, uh, that is going to... <coughs> sorry, again, my throat is horrible today. Uh, that is going to trigger the building of that cargo module. And so that's now been added into the sort of setup for this factory. So there you go, guys. We've got sort of a similar idea to before, obviously, but I've managed to expand it. I am looking to sort of add more to this as we go on so I am intending let's go and uh, add the mass drive next as well um, let's hope that I remember to turn the mass blocks off in the blueprint I while testing this made a massive mistake and this thing built with the mass blocks on and this platform has gravity and you can imagine what happened to this piston over there I might stick that at the end of the video just for laughs um, but yeah it's, this has been expanded into a much, much larger ship that can be sort of much, much more customised for what it is that you want to do with it. And also, hopefully, this now gives you the opportunity to add your own modules into this. I'm certainly thinking of moving on to a version 2 of the design with the next stage, but I do think that this is going to be the end of, of this particular version of the design, and I am quite pleased with how it's all turned out. Uh, although I have noticed that it seems that... Yes, probably because of the order these are being built in, these gravity blocks aren't being built, because they're because of the direction of travel uh, and where the welders are placed it builds this block here and by that point it's already traveled too far to then build the gravity generator on it so what I'd need to do here is switch the blueprint around 
so that these two gravity generators are pointing the same way like these ones are. But aside from that, there you go guys, that's, uh, I think that's this concept done for the uh, modular extrusion projector, uh, no, modular extrusion platform. I will be coming back with a version 2 at some point in the future, but I can't promise when that'll be. So, hope you liked it. If you did, please hit like, please hit subscribe, really helps me and the channel out. And otherwise, I'll catch you next time.